New England has a storied history with textiles, especially wool. In Canton, one property houses two businesses with more than 250 years of experience combined. We've been incorporated since 1856. Christian Draper is the president and general manager of Draper Knitting, the sixth generation of the Draper family to run this business. James Draper, who started our business, came over from England with his brother Thomas. They set up shop here in Canton. The company's first product was a Sontag, a small shawl women wore over dresses. Over the decades, they've used a lot of wool. Products range from pea coats to military blankets. When I came into the business in the 80s, wool was not a thing anymore. Now, Draper and safety products manager Bethany Pollock say they're returning to the textile and taking advantage of its best characteristics. Wool is so wonderful in its insulation and antimicrobial. Self-extinguishing. Did she say wool is self-extinguishing? If you put a flame to it and then take the flame away, it's going to put itself out. Pollock showed us the ways Draper uses wool in products they make for the U.S. military. Three layers of a wool and cotton fleece are the insulation in the top of this extreme cold weather boot. One of the more recent things that we've done with wool in two different layers of an extreme cold weather glove is a napped wool French terry for the lining fabric of the glove. It gives that nice soft hand. And then also we do a high pile fabric that's no melt, no drip. Here at the Draper Knitting Facility, the company is manufacturing a range of products using wool, from stretchy knits to fluffy fabrics. They'll become everything from paint rollers to protective firefighting gear. The company is also using all those machines to try to bring wool to more customers. So we made this whole wool bar, we call it the wool bar, belly up to the bar because you can order one yard or as much as you want. <laughs> Draper says fashion designers have used these fabrics in clothes. They've also been made into home goods like mattress toppers. Holy Lamb, one of our customer companies, uses this to make natural bedding. We have everything from a very lightweight jersey to a very heavyweight double knit. So we're trying to get all aspects for people who want more industrial type stuff and then more fashion-y type stuff. Another wool business has found a home in Draper Knitting's Canton property. The RH Lindsay Company got its start in the wool business nearly a century ago. My granddad founded it in the, the mid-30s. He was given a wool buying contract for berry wool combing and berry mass. So he knew when he started he was going to make two cents a pound on seven million pounds a year that that mill used. Phil Lindsay is the third generation to lead this family business, but he's doing it in a wool market very different from the one his grandfather and father operated in. Summer Street, where all the woolies met. Boston was once the nation's biggest wool marketplace, reaching its peak in the 1930s. Summer Street in the Fort Point neighborhood was where all the action happened. Now, only a plaque remains. Lindsay watched the other companies dwindle away. We could have 200 people at the wool trade lunch every year. Well, I'm the only one left. We're the only ones left. Not only is R.H. Lindsay still in business, but a fourth generation is now on board. I had absolutely no interest in wool growing up. Phil's daughter, Grace Lindsay Park, started working here full time in 2021. Today, the company's main customers are artisans, people who make items from wool by hand. Lindsay credits them with his survival, a market that others doubted. When I started all the old guys in Summer Street, you know, a couple hundred of them, they look at me, that's a drugstore business. And I'd look at them and say, do you know any poor pharmacists? It was those customers who drew Grace to the family business. Part of what really inspired me was how many of our customers are artists trying to make money off of their art. Our mission is to bring industrial quality products to the handcraft market. It's just really exciting to talk to people who are excited about wool all the time.
Mm. You saw Grace spinning yarn by hand, yeah. really a talent. The spinning wheel she was using, mm -hmm. way older than she is, but she has figured it out. It's impressive. Mm. And Draper Knitting, all of their wool is responsibly sourced, which means it's good for the land, it's good for animals, it's good for the worker. They buy their wool from Shanico Wool Company out in Oregon, and all of their wool is traceable American wool that they sell to American oh, companies. Good to know. Up next, a lifetime love turned to business.